Hey, welcome back to Blown Budget Garage. Today we're gonna to try to put a windshield in. If that sounds like fun, it's not. I promise. Let's get to work. I'm gonna use a bunch of different tools and some of my goose snot uh, it looks like it's in a glass cleaner, but this is not glass cleaner. Um, uh, I have all my clips on the bottom. It looks like the sides and the top where the clips go, I'll be able to replace them uh, with everything in. If not, you know, we'll just put some windshield compound on her and call her good. So let me go ahead and mentally prepare, get the windshield unwrapped, get it set into place. These are trim tools, um, technically, but a lot of them can be used um, for trying to get a windshield um, lipped in. Um, you got some real nice thin edges on here that's got a real nice angle. You have like your traditional straight. I mean, I've got little pieces. I've got all kinds of stuff to remove all kinds of trim um, and panels and everything, but you know, you can use this stuff for this. Um, it works.
I'm gonna spray a little bit more. Let me come back up in through here and get this uh, locked down. That'll only take a quick second. And then we're gonna appreciate our victory. You know what I mean? So don't judge the windshield. Obviously I gotta clean it up. Um, what did I use? So again, this says glass cleaner. Obviously you could tell it's not. That is a heavy, heavy, heavy concentration of Dawn Dish soap um, and, uh, and just cold water. I'm talking a lot of dish soap and cold water, just a little bit of cold water. Just lightly kind of shake it around to mix it up. You don't want to have a whole bunch of bubbles in there, right? So y'all saw the video. Um, what did we do? I started in this corner, right? First, I, I, got the, I got the glass set in and I did the bottom first. Then, as you saw, I worked this corner in first, kind of worked my way up a little bit, got the corner over there, lift up over, came over here. You know, I worked on this corner for a little bit. It was fighting me, so I went back over here and just a little bit at a time. Uh, with the glass, guys, as you're putting it in, it's gonna shift a little bit. So if you're over here fighting and fighting and fighting and you get mad and you put too much pressure, you know, you could, that's when you're gonna crack your windshield. If you got a section that's fighting you real bad, you know, come over here, come to this side, do a little bit of it. You know, sometimes it'll help take some of that pressure off. Again, on these A-body Mopars, this top gasket here just folds in on itself. I'm not flipping anybody off. <laughs> it just folds in on itself. There's no lock strip, it's built in. For some of you eagle-eyed Mopar fanatics, you're gonna see that, hey, there's no clips uh, on there. Well, I can definitely get to these holes. That's no big deal. And the bottom clips are, are already in. So no big deal. Um, I, when I put the trim on, um, I was talking to my buddy Joe earlier and you know, he was like, hey, just put you a couple dabs of butyl, you know, no big deal, right? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna put the clips in, I'll do a couple dabs of butyl, pop the trim on, ain't no big deal. Uh, unless something happens to this glass, it's not coming out again. And if I can do it by myself, in a metal building shop running off of one extension cord, right? Y'all can definitely do it. Take your time. Have yourself a good um, lubricant. Again, that's what I like to use, just a very, very heavy concentration of soap, a little bit of water. Um, get you a, a plastic trim um, tool set. They're not expensive. The cool thing about it is that you get the, basically the same exact tool as what you get for a windshield tool, but you have different pitches and different widths. And you know, y'all saw me, sometimes one tool was working. Um, if you saw me work in the top, you know, you saw that I would put the tool in and then spin it, slide it over, spin it. And this is a battle that you're gonna win just, you know, one or two millimeters at a time. Um, if you think you're gonna just throw your tool in and just, you know, at the bottom, yeah, you can do that. You can't do it all over the whole thing. So for these A-body Mopars, man, get your windshield set in at the bottom. Get it lift in on the bottom. That's what you want anyway, because there's no pinch weld on the bottom. You want that to be nice, secure. Start working up your sides. Do not end on a corner. Don't lip everything over and then you're trying to fight a corner. Do not do that. Get you your bottom corner started. Get the bottom section lipped over, get the other bottom corner lipped over, start working your way up, get your corner started, you know, go to about right here or so, so it holds, go to the other corner, get that lipped over, and then just start working that top, you know? The top, you wanna, if you gotta fight a, a section, you wanna fight the top, you don't wanna fight the bottom. Um, so anyways, that's how you put a, uh, a windshield into um, an A-body Mopar. Uh, hopefully that helps somebody. Um, oh, I gotta fix that little spot right there. Get in there. Anyways, <laughs> I hope, get in there. There we go. Uh, I hope it helps somebody. If you've never done this before and you're super nervous, it's okay to be nervous. That means you're gonna pay attention, hopefully. It means you're gonna work slowly. Um, just like everything else, right? Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So if you prepare to be out here for an hour, hour and a half and take your time, your, the investment of your windshield is gonna be just fine. Uh, if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button, give me a like if I helped you. Um, it helps the channel and the algorithm and all of that. Um, if you came here just for the windshield, now you see that I'm doing all kinds of other stuff with this car, stick around. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we're almost done with this car, with this build. It's almost ready to uh, be out and about driving. 
Um, so with that being said, the back glass is going to come next. I'll do another video on that. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm just chewing on this elephant one bite at a time. Y'all, thanks for watching. Have a good week. I'll see you next time.